1987 Predator movie, visual effects experts mixed jelly and glow stick liquid to create the alien's blood. Now we wonder what the Italian company Proapto used for their camouflage. Seems like it could trick even aliens. Check out these thermal imager tests at 27 meters. The camouflage is waterproof, breathable, and silent. The lightest model weighs just 400 grams. They plan to start production this summer, and both military and civilian customers can get it. The basic model is expected to cost $10,400. Companies from three countries, including Germany, Canada, and France, collaborated on XOM. It's no surprise that this exoskeleton is hailed as revolutionary, innovative, and cutting edge. Makers believe it's suitable for both military and police use. XOM offers several advantages. Firstly, it redistributes up to 70% of the user's load, enabling a policeman to carry up to 90 kilograms comfortably. Secondly, it can withstand fire from a Kalashnikov rifle from a distance of 10 meters. Thirdly, it allows for virtually unrestricted movement. What's even better is that it's a passive model, requiring no batteries. According to reports, XOM may be deployed by the GIGN, an elite anti-terrorist unit of the French Gendarmerie. Meanwhile, the Dutch company Guard from Above has developed a UAV that resembles an eagle. The idea wasn't pulled out of thin air. The drone was designed based on military feedback. Besides its unique appearance, the UAV boasts decent features. It can reach speeds of up to 60 km per hour and fly for an hour on a full battery. It can also be launched manually and assembled in just three minutes. Equipped with a 4K camera for first-person control, it has a cargo compartment at the back. It all sounds great, but we wonder how real eagles might react if their robotic counterparts become widely produced and deployed. Speaking of countering drones, the Israeli company Skylock is making strides in this field. They offer to use the Wingman wearable detector and the Skybeam gun together. Let's take a closer look at the gun. Like similar rifles, Skybeam disrupts the reception and transmission of data from the UAV, essentially rendering the drone uncontrollable. But here's the kicker. Skybeam boasts a better range than many competitors, reaching around 3 kilometers. A full battery keeps the gun operational for an hour, and it can be charged while in use. The gun can also run on two different power sources and weighs in at 6 kilograms, making it easy for a single person to carry. In 2020, around 2 million police officers were safeguarding peace in India. But who's going to care for the protectors themselves? The local company SMPP, of course, which is producing these shields. The Kara Stop 4 version stands strong, even against 762 by 54 mm R rounds. It's got foam inserts to cushion the impact, and when needed, it can be secured with straps to free up the hands. There's also an attachment for a shield hanging system. Officers can connect multiple shields, creating a kind of mobile fortress. Plus, the shape is just right for shooting from behind the shield, both standing and sitting.
You can customize the X-Series modular shelters to fit your needs, whether it's a field hospital, a command center, or a search and rescue camp. They're built tough, handling snow loads of 23 kilograms per square meter and winds over 24 meters per second. In the top tier X40 version, each shelter provides 81.4 square meters of space. Plus, the folks at Deployed Logics claim that six people can set up the X40 in just 25 minutes. These US made shelters have been deployed in 11 countries across Latin America and the Caribbean, aiding pandemic relief efforts and supporting victims of Hurricane Dorian through the International Medical Corps. Check out this Russian technology from Roso Boron Export. It's a revolutionary container. In just seconds, it can create a smoke screen around 4 meters high and about 25 meters in diameter. This screen lasts at least 20 seconds and not only gives visual camouflage but also messes with IR, night vision systems, and laser rangefinders. The container's big advantage is its versatility. It works for both armored vehicles and regular ones, so it's a solid choice for various situations, including crowd control. Making a universal floating bridge isn't as easy as it sounds. NATO countries keep updating their requirements, and the French company CNIM is adapting to the changes. In 2021, they introduced a new generation of floating bridges that can handle heavy tanks like the Abrams M1A2 and the Leopard 2A7. The bridges are equipped with their own engines, and you can control them using a single remote control system. The bridges in the video are already being used by the French army and Poland has commissioned several hundred meters of bridge. Interestingly, these bridges were originally designed for air transport and can come in handy for civilian tasks, like temporary ferries or during regular bridge repairs. The German company Zippermast knows the importance of intelligence, so they offer the ZM-10060 mast system. It can lift radars, sensors, and other gear to a height of up to 10 meters. You can set it up in a forest or mount it on vehicles, like the Ziesel Infantry Support Vehicle. The Ghost Hood camouflage takes care of blending in, using insights from perception research. Simply put, the makers consider how humans perceive things. The slogan of the Telemax Evo Plus robot is designed by experts for experts. This tracked machine can lift up to 80 kilograms, reach speeds of up to 5 kilometers per hour, and run for up to 12 hours on a single charge. Operators get an HD camera with pan, tilt, and zoom for top-notch situational awareness. Thanks to its versatile tracks, the Telemax Evo Plus handles 45-degree stairs with ease. The integrated mesh system ensures solid communication, even in challenging urban settings. These robots are made by Aerovironment, an American defense contractor and a key supplier to the Pentagon. The Israeli company Elbit Systems is making a mark with its products, and even Germany, the Netherlands, and other NATO countries are keen customers. Their focus is on night vision devices, offering both goggles and monoculars. Take the exact NV32 monocular, for instance. It boasts a 40-degree view and runs for about 53 hours on a single battery. 
The exact NV32 is 40% lighter than previous models, weighing less than 210 grams, including the IR laser illuminator. Both goggles and monoculars are adjustable from minus 6 to plus 2 diopters for added comfort. These are solid developments, making it less daunting to drive on nighttime off-road missions. Our regular viewers might recall Anduril Industries for its jet-powered drone hitting speeds of up to 1120 km per hour. However, it's not wise to put all your eggs in one basket. Alongside the speedy drone, the company's also working on a drone counteraction system called Sentry, a 10-meter high tower fueled by solar energy. Packed with antennas, radars, cameras, and thermal images, Sentry processes data through Lattice, a software platform with AI algorithms. Anvil kamikaze drones are then dispatched to take down identified UAVs. When disassembled, Sentry fits in a pickup truck, and setting it up takes less than an hour. These towers could create a smart wall around military bases or along borders. Do you think it has potential? In 2021, there was an intriguing addition to the Rheinmetall Mission Master family, the Mission Master XT. This unmanned vehicle line wasn't a typical one. It was designed to support troops in tough terrain and harsh weather. The German company went the extra mile with the XT model. It's not just an unmanned swamp vehicle. It can cover up to 750 kilometers without refueling, hauling up to a ton of cargo. What's more, it comes with a built-in tire inflation system, handling punctures as large as 2 centimeters. Whether it's snow, ice, water, mud, sand, or rocks, the Mission Master XT tackles it all. And if autonomous driving gets tricky, you can kick back in a folding chair and maneuver the vehicle with a joystick. Milan isn't just a soccer club and the global fashion hub, it's also an anti-tank complex. Crafted by French and German engineers, it's handy for both manual carrying and installation on vehicles. The missile range varies, hitting up to 3 kilometers depending on the version. Despite being around for decades, Milan is still hailed for its high reliability. Over 90% of fired missiles hit their target. Despite its moderate missile speed, Milan can take down armored vehicles with dynamic protection and homogeneous armor up to 1,000 mm. Creating the perfect portable radar is all about understanding what customers need. For the military, compactness and lightness matter most. Civilian customers seek easy integration and affordability. Blend all these needs and you get the Ground Observer 12. Crafted by the French company Thales, this pulse Doppler radar operates within a 26km range and easily links up with regular computers via Wi-Fi or cable. Power-wise, it suits batteries, generators, and other 24-volt sources. The radar can work autonomously, and one person can get it ready in just five minutes. 